Hi, and welcome to the December 2022 energy reading. We're going to close out the year with this energy reading today. Now, I've already picked the cards. I have them in the decks here. And um, my guidance is telling me to, to read the exact description that was meant for the card from the author of, this, of each of these decks. So I'm going to do that. Um, but anyway, we have <clears throat> the first card, Guardian Angel. This one is telling us, Everyone has a guardian angel who has been with them since their soul's creation. Your guardian angel is now drawing closer and closer you, to you than ever before. And this angel guide knows you, loves you, and accepts you completely, exactly as you are. So before you incarnated on earth, you danced across the stars together. If you're feeling overwhelmed or alone at this time, know that your, your angel guide is with you to share their love and to help you to feel safe. So you never walk alone in this path through this life. Angels are always there with you to light the way. This card is a huge reminder that you always have their help. Their support companionship is always available to you. So, you know, like, like maybe talk to your angels more. I know I talk to my angels a lot now. It just seems normal. I, like, I think sometimes I do it when I don't even realize that it could be people listening to me. It doesn't even matter anymore. I just have this relationship so that which helps me too, because then sometimes information comes in and it's like, I don't question anymore. I know it's coming from my angels because I have this open communication with them. So anyway, there's an extended message and it says, if you're an independent soul and often find yourself trying to do everything on your own, but know that um, even just a quick, pr just they want you to know that even just a quick prayer to your guardian angel can take away some of that pressure. Your angels want to hear from you more. In order to support you fully, they must be invited to do so. But uh, and says, but then no request is too much. So that's why really want to, maybe that's why I said that about talking to the angels a lot. Really open this dialogue that you have with your angels because they it's true. At least I believe it's true. They cannot help you unless you ask for the help. So when you have this open communication and you're always consulting, then they know that you're asking, right? So it's like it becomes more of an instantaneous type of a thing. So your angel guide uh, was made for you and is dedicated to you. Take time today for an easy and informal conversation with them. Speak openly in a heartfelt way about your life, any challenges that you're facing, and anything that you need help with. Through that conversation, their help will find you uh, their help will find its way to you. So when you draw this card, they want you to know that they are with you. All right, cool. Because, uh, yeah, that's it. Just keep talking to them. I'm telling you. It makes a huge difference. Um, also within your own belief. Because you start to feel their energy with you more. And it helps you really understand that this is true. This is true for you. Um, okay, so the next card. Downtime. Interesting. It looks as it's, it's uh, going on the wheel, right? The mouse, like never stopping. Um, could play right in with asking your angels to help you with some of that stuff, right? So you can relax and look at things from maybe another perspective without having that busy energy behind it. Because really, that busy energy, I, I, don't, I don't know what this card's going to say, but that busy energy, um, a lot of times it makes, say, the task at hand take longer or the solutions to come in take longer because again you're in that busy mode you're probably not talking to those angels of yours and you're certainly not going to be hearing the information as it drops in right because you're in that busy mode but let's see what this says downtime okay so to tune into your intuitive and psychic vibes it is essential that you step away from the hustle and bustle of the world from time to time okay as a sixth sensory person, start appreciating the importance of refreshing your body, mind, and spirit by scheduling downtime. Time to do nothing but relax, hang out, and simply allow the world to go by. It affords you the inner space that you need to refuel your psychic energies to gain access to your higher and more subtle vibrations that you may be, have bypassed by living such a fast-paced, intense world. 
Right. It's exactly what I was starting out with, right? So your ego generally doesn't approve of downtime <laughs> because it's asked to give up control, which it doesn't want to do. It doesn't like that, right? So rather, it wants to run your life through fear and anxiety, keeping things in your head and under control, the hall hallmark of five sensory unhappy living. Downtime liberates you from this fear-based treadmill and reconnects you to the peace and the pace of the universal flow, right? Just really slowing down, getting into the flow with energy, right? Having that open communication with your guides. When you're in that easy, open flow, things drop in. But when you're in that hustle bustle, it's hard for it to get in. And, and you probably experienced it many times in some big project or something you're doing. You finally like sort of give up and you automatically do that rest thing, right? You give up and then all of a sudden solutions come in a dream or it just pops in, right? It's happened to me so many times. That's why this makes so much sense to me because um, I got that lesson somewhere along the way. I actually really got it. I used to think I had it. But then I'd go right back to that hustle bustle, always having to do, 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 never taking a break. And um, it's much easier when you give yourself some breaks. So there's a little bit more. Um, as, my, as my personal spiritual teacher once told me, this is Sonia Choquette talking, sometimes the most powerful thing that you can do is nothing. Now is one of those times. Wow. You know, maybe from this crazy year that we've been living, and it, it's been crazy, right? Um, this last month of this year, maybe this is all what it's all about, right? Just re relaxing, enjoying yourself, being in that space where, guess what? Inspiration comes for what you're going to be doing next for this next year to come. Um, okay, so the next one we got was slow and steady in the reverse position. So upright position, but the card meaning is in the reverse position. So let me make sure I have the right card, number 12. Slow and steady. It says slow and steady wins the race. <laughs> I, I don't, it's just amazing how these things just always line up. So slow and steady. It says pushing things forward impulsively will not only prevent success, but potentially cause more trouble than you're prepared to handle. Moving too quickly will only yield unripe fruit with a bitter taste. Slow down, breathe, meditate. You're not a human doing, you're a human being. So just be. I love that. Everything will work out if you can apply the brakes and become more aware of what's happening in this moment. Yeah, bringing yourself back into present time and breathing. Just doing that. Because I was talking fast, right? Just doing that. Just relax my whole body. Okay, so it says everything will work out for you if you can apply the brakes and become more aware of what's happening in this moment. A calm focus on the now, breathing in the beauty of your surroundings, will restore your power to consciously co-create your world. All fruits ripe in their own time. Yeah, and I would say that um, it ripens in your own time much sweeter when you do take that, have that open space for the inspiration to flow in. Because everything, I mean, listen, your whole life is pretty much channeled, right? You're just flowing on energy. <laughs> and uh, take the time out. Take the time out to just be and see what pops in your mind. Some new ideas. I'm, I'm put, I'm, I've got this. I, I made up these cards. There's, uh, I don't know, 48 of them. Oh, every challenge is an opportunity for growth. Okay, that's the card that I got from this guy because I've been doing these short videos, shorts, and uh, this is one of the things I started doing, picking one of these cards for those things. Actually, it's, it's a three-card pick for that. So every challenge is an opportunity for growth. Yeah, maybe the challenge is slowing down because you can imagine that. When you slow down, you start making this connection with your spiritual guidance, right? You're opening to be able to receive what's coming in because you're not so sh busy on that little wheel like that little hamster. Um, yeah, just allowing things to drop in, allowing you to re really like come into 
your truth of your being, which always gets things done, which really does know where it's going, which can manifest easily if we just get out of that mental chatter, that subconscious mind that's always pushing, 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 and uh, breathe. So have a wonderful holiday uh, season, and um, we'll see what January brings up for us next month. But I'd say really chill, allow inspiration to come, maybe ask the angels, okay, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this, I'm really going to chill. During this time, I'd like to receive inspiration as to what's next for me, like, you know, what path would be best traveled and and what types of things can I do to get something started? Maybe you want to move in a whole different direction. Maybe you just want to advance where you are right now. Or maybe you just want to find more ways of being in that peaceful space where you're not rushing, where you're experiencing the moment. How many of us do not experience the actual moment? Me right here talking to you is a moment for me right? Not all the planning to do the video or what I'm going to have to do next. Just being with the camera and talking to you guys. Anyway, I hope that this reading hit you in some way and I'd love to uh, hear how it did in the comments below and uh, I'll see you again. Bye.